Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial where I am going to teach you guys how to paint a corn on your face. So I really like to get started with the eyes and you can get pretty creative with this. So for the corn, I did really large white circles right above your upper lip and then I just take the yellow and it can be any yellow i picked my lighter version and just start filling in your lips so that you can see if the eyes are in the right places and then what you want to do is kind of start to create the structure of your corn so is it going to be short and fat is it going to be long and skinny and really just have fun with this so for my corn, I just kind of placed it in sort of a diamond cloud shape. And you don't have to be perfect at this part or anything. Just start filling it in. Fill it in with all your yellow. And the reason I do this is for some reason the white likes to melt into the yellow. So it's easier to just put that first and then paint the yellow around it. That way you're not fighting it the whole time. If you have acrylic paint, you can always paint white over and that will layer over it. But when you're just using the oil-based paints that I'm using on my face, that is what is necessary. Okay, it's looking good so far. Next, you're going to want to grab any color green. I just picked the lightest one. And you're going to create the leaves of the corn. And for this one... I'm making it more feminine, so I wanted to do more swirly leaves and just filling in all of that space with those general colors there. It's looking good. And I was moving pretty fast, so <laughs> had to let it dry before I start adding any of the details. So I'm grabbing my smallest brush and you can even use a makeup brush, it might be easier. And I'm just starting to create the outline of the eyes on our little corn. And like I said, I was making this one more feminine, so I'm giving her eyelashes and just making her eyes very big and round. And being careful not to go over my upper lip because sometimes that makes the paint bleed over into it. And then this is where you can just get really creative with what you want. You can do large eyes, small eyes. I, I really wanted to give her really big blue eyes, so I was creating a good space for that. And if you have trouble with eyes, you can look up anywhere on Google or on YouTube how to draw or paint eyes. <laughs> I had a little itch there. And you can just focus on the structure that you want. Okay, so now I am just going to outline the rest of my corn. And this is where it really starts to pop. So it goes from looking pretty childish to looking like an actual cartoon corn on your face. So the more detail you can add with the dark lines, the better. That'll make it really pop, kind of like it's a giant sticker on your face. And you can bold each line more. So this part gets a little tricky. So these are the corn kernels. Um, and in my first corn video, I didn't use black for the outlines. I just used other colors. But for this video, I wanted to kind of show you guys the detail that you just sort of suggest that it's there. You don't need to draw every single piece of kernel. You just, <laughs> I'm so itchy. You just kind of suggest that it's there and the brain does the rest. It recognizes it as a piece of corn. So just filling that all in, it's looking good. She's looking cute. So then I'm just getting white and I'm doing the same thing, but I'm just adding like a little bubble shine on each corn kernel to really 
make it pop more 3D rather than being too flat. And I'm keeping them all in sort of the same direction to suggest that the light is shining down from the top. And then I wanted to add more depth to the leaves. So I was playing around with the different color of greens that I have and it looked like I settled on a darker shadow green for the undertone of it. And like I said, I wanted her to have beautiful blue eyes. So I'm just feeling in one of my darkest teal colors that I have on my palette. You can always mix different kinds of blues, but I just really like this color on the camera. It pops. And then I really wanted to give her some cute blush pink cheeks and some pink eyeshadow as well. I think that's what I do next here. And it wasn't popping as much as I wanted it to, but this is the joy of painting. You just have fun with it. And then when the eyes are done, you want to add some good shine on the eyes as well. That's what I'm doing here. A couple dots to just make her more to life. Bring her more to life. She's looking cute. She's looking cute. And now I'm just going in with the small brush still to add some cute little eyelashes. Being careful not to overdo it because it's really easy to want to add more and more and more when it doesn't need it necessarily. And just going over some lines and making sure that they're as bold as I want them to be. You can go over it as many times as you want. And then adding in some final details with some orange. So you can make the kernels whatever color you want. They, I did some yellow, orange, white. And then I had outlining with the black. And there you have it. We have a cute corn on the cob on your face. I really hope this helps you guys. And send me your videos if you paint it. Thank you so much. It's cold. A big